and uh, if it's too, it, it looks too far gone, but we're still going to try it. Things you can sort of see those two caps. I think that is where one of the bodies was found. Wow, drugs. Okay, found drugs so far. That's why I always say you never know what you're going to find. There's a hundred percent people down there. And they just reach up there with their little fingers and grab on, huh? Man, that dude's almost like in a attack stance, ain't he? Look at him, he's like ready to go compared to the other ones. Smokes, man. You chose a different method. That scared the crap out of me, man. I didn't even know where that noise was coming from. What is that? I don't know. It's coming from up there, though. Do you see the eyes over there? What do you think it is? There's a few sets. There's another set. I'm like, just keep an eye, man, because I don't want no freaking uh, coyotes trying to uh, think they're going to do something. Where'd they go? There they are. Sounded like it was running, like coming towards us, didn't it? little bonus footage I wasn't planning on recording this walk back but that was that was a little scary Get whoa it. And every time I turn the camera off something happens What's up, fam? If you're new to the channel, I'm Jer Bear, and today I got my buddy Brandon filming with me to take you exploring in the CJ Facing Tunnel. So that's yeah. what he named it. Him and Sonny Deeds was down here and uh, explored it like three years ago, and so he renamed it the CJ Facing Tunnel. But most of you would know it as the abandoned Pennsylvania Turnpike. Anyway, right now we are on 13 miles of abandoned highway that apparently, if we follow for long enough, takes us to a tunnel that goes straight through a mountain. Probably that mountain there. I bet you that's where the tunnel goes through. And is haunted. So there is some haunted history to this tunnel. And we'll go over all that once we get there, but look at this. I found something already. You see that little? Really oh, there. it's almost St. Patty's Day too, isn't it? it? Says, not lucky, just blessed. Oh. Post FB RMC Rocks 2. Rip Ricky. Oh. Well, rest in peace, Ricky. A little memorial to him, maybe? I don't know. Cool little find. We just now got on the highway and we found one cool little Easter egg already. But hey, if you guys like crazy fun adventures, spooky haunted things, and abandoned exploration, smash that like. Hit that subscribe. Join the family. And let's get it. So this is pretty funny guys we had the camera off because we got a long walk just on this highway anyway i was just telling brandon a minute ago like always explore it in the daytime first if you can because then you get a good bearings you know you get a good feel for the place and this is one reason right here check this out look at that thing just right in the middle 
Oh, heck yeah, man. That goes down there. There's like a guardrail. There's a tree. Yeah, that sucker would jack you up. So there's a little example and a tip for you guys that like to go out and explore. Always hit it up in the daytime first if you can. And it's for reasons just like that. Like the tunnel we're about to go to, there's some rooms we're going to go in. It's going to be actually pretty dangerous, some of the places we're going to go. And it looked dangerous three years ago in CJ's uh, video. So mind you, it's like three years later. So things have only got worse and more dangerous. So we'll but anyway, that. yeah, that right back there is why you like to go and check places out in the daytime first. We're going to be staying the night here. Oh yeah, I don't even know if I told him that yet. Yeah, just in case I haven't mentioned it. You just did. I just did. Yeah. But yeah, wait till you see. I'm not sure what kind of good options we're going to have for sleeping, but we'll find out. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Living the dream. So this is sort of funny. After the camping videos, Brandon reached out to me on Facebook. We haven't talked really since we worked together. But he's like, man, you know, I like camping and everything. Can I go out with you sometime? And maybe we'll do a camp out. Like, yeah, no problem, man. So what do I do? <laughs> Is this the camp out you was thinking of when you originally reached out to me? No? What'd you have in mind? Oh, well, anything really, so yeah. Sort of? You didn't, ex you didn't expect like, hey, let's go to an abandoned haunted tunnel to sleep in no like never Something crossed your mind like bigfoot and camping and... bigfoot hey that's a possibility look at where we're at man mountains bigfoot i didn't even yeah they've landed i think that was supposed to say haunted oh my goodness That is awesome. And a little terrifying. I see a light. What is that? You see a light? Mm -hmm. Somebody in there? Right. Gotta be if there's a light, huh? Oh my goodness. I don't see that light anymore. Huh. I wonder why that side's so much nicer than this side. It's like almost two different roads. Like, look at this thing. It's all chewed up and gnarly. Inside. I mean, I'm glad you got good eyes, because, I mean, I guess I can see something, yeah. There's a lot of people. Is that a lot of people? Oh, goodness. Bigfoot? There it is, the haunted CJ face and tunnel. Oh yeah, gotta tag CJ. So he also said uh, to tag him and see how many explorers come here and explore yeah, after him. I'd love to go exploring with CJ and the, and the boys. That'd be awesome. CJ. Hey CJ, let's do it, I'm down. Let's go do some spooky, spooky places. What is he doing? I could just, I just heard his wings. You hear his wings? Look at that. Oh, you know what? That might be a nest. Is that a crow's nest right there? Man, it's dark in there, huh? So, according to CJ and Sonny, that there was like two bodies that was found in there. And at least up to three years ago, there was like two bodies so far. And I think that's where we're going to end up sleeping. So, there is haunted history to it. 
Also, back in the early 80s, there was like this cult that was hanging out here. And like 20 people come up missing. They would snatch people out of the tunnels. So like bikers or hikers would come by to enjoy the scenery and never be seen again. Well, I don't know about all of them, but a lot of them were never seen again. And there was two bodies, which I don't know was if it was part of the snatch snatching they were doing, or this might have been later. Yeah, I think the bodies in there came later. Creepy. And now that the sun's going down, man, it's getting creepier quicker, isn't it? You think it's creepy? What does that say? Oh, nice, man. Hey, B, look. So originally, I thought we was going to have to climb in and out that window. But now we can just go right through this. So that makes part of it easier. We're going to explore the tunnel first. And then we'll come in here. But I will tell you that back in there, man, I don't have no light. Hold on. Where's my flashlight? Yeah, wait till you see what we got to go through to get up in the upper levels. I'm hoping we still can. I better get my light put on the camera. Definitely going to need some light for in there. Yeah, let's see how good your new flashlight works. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Check out some, uh, some of the artists here. Hello! A little wet in this spot. Ooh, that was a little deeper than I thought. Okay, I'm gonna have to get my other light on. Anybody coming? Earlier today we uh, explored the abandoned Yellow Dog Village. It's like a whole abandoned town, old miners town. Did you hear that? What was that? What in the world was that? That was different, huh? Shine your flashlight down there. Is there anybody like hiding on the edges? No, this way. Didn't that noise come from this way? Where'd you hear the noise? Did you just hear? Mm -hmm. Was that a scream? Did that sound like a little kid or something? Like a light little, like a girl? Yeah, huh? Just look down. No, I can't see nothing but a light. That's blinding me. <laughs> the camera picks it up, but if I look at you without that light on you, I can't see nothing. Man, it sounded like a, uh... First, did you hear, do you know what I'm talking about? It was like a little screech. It sounded like a, either a little kid or a girl. Like a really quick scream or something. I don't know if you'd even call it a scream. Like a, ah! Ah! Man, this thing's pretty long. I don't see any light at the end of the tunnel. Do you? Do you? Let me turn the light off. Wow, that is dark. you see a light tunnel? I see light down here. I don't see it down here, though. Look, it's not even on camera, is it? I see one all the way down there. You see one? Oh, wait. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't see it. Do you just hear a voice? I swear I just heard it again. Am I hearing stuff? Is it my imagination? Ruby doo! Ruby doo ruby doo! I want to be a real boy! Oh, that's uh, what is that? Pokemon. Is that a Pokemon? Right. Yeah, man, this sucker's long. I don't see no light. Should, you would think, because it's still 
It's daylight, sort of. Man, we don't have much daylight left at all. It's like a coffin. Thought I just heard a car too. Man, I'm hearing all kinds of weird stuff in here. I wonder if it's like echoes, you know, like something from outside gets picked up in the tunnel and it just uh, makes everything weird, maybe. Wendigo. I wonder how you summon a Wendigo. I, I don't know. I probably shouldn't want to do that. That sounds <laughs> stupid. <laughs> you don't think we should do it? <laughs> what do you guys think? Should we, uh, should we try summoning a Wendigo? Schmink Malt Malt Lecky. There's a hundred percent people down there. Hundred percent. What are they doing here after dark? They're breaking the law. Sinners. Man, and I left my flannel down there. What if they jack my flannel when they walk back? Okay, so that at least explains like the, I swore I heard voices earlier, and that's why. Can you guys see, see their light? Yeah, you can start to see it now on camera. Man, this is a long freaking tunnel, man. That's another thing that was happening. They was getting people and sacrificing them. So we did, oh, there's a, there's a star there. It went off again on me. How much am I getting recorded before it goes off? My camera, my camera keeps shutting off on me, guys. Oh, you know what? We might we might be able to find some bats in here too. You don't think? I bet you can find bats in here. So I haven't seen any doors on the side. How long is this freaking tunnel, man? There ain't no light down there. You can still see a little bit of a light on the other end. What is that? Is that? That's a bunch of poo. That is a lot of poo. That's like a Bigfoot poo. Like he just come walking down the tunnel, dropping. Take me to your leader. I am Batman. Oh, I can do impressions, baby. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Crack is whack. Don't do it. What is that thing? A light? Might have been old light.
Let's, oh, there's another one. That one looks a little different. So that is one of the stories is sacrifices in this place. People can be so dumb and naive, can't they? What do you mean? By doing that. Sacrificing? Yes, doing stuff satanic. And... Yeah. Well, you know... It's definitely not smart. No, it is not smart. But the thing is, so the enemy's... Re what is that glowing? See that little glowing orange thing over there? Is that eyes? Or a reflecting light? But unfortunately, like, so they, they get to experience the enemy. And so they think he has, like, I mean, he does have a certain amount of powers that God allows him to have, but so they think he's something, you know what I mean? And he'll give them things, let them do things. And... Yeah, I like that. That's a nice cross. To save us. That's right. That is right. So he's behind you. That could be like a uh, what do you call it? What did I say earlier? Wendigo. That could be the Wendigo or Skinwalker. That's sort of a creepy little girl face. Is that that's like one of those animes? Black-eyed children. You ever hear? You ever seen those? You seen any videos of the black-eyed children? Check those out sometime. They'll creep you out. She's my black-eyed child. Cyclops. Another star. It's funny. There's like really no good graffiti at all on the up. Uh, okay, before before that just happened, I was gonna say I haven't really seen much on the ground except for like <laughs> now there's a couple packers, oh, but oh, that is creepy. Like really, all that's been on there so far is like uh, pentagrams. Bleeding from the eyes. Poop cat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, poop cat. It's a happy banana. Bob Ross must have drove, drew that, uh, no. another poop cat. A couple poop cats in here. Okay, well, we debunked the first set of voices. I knew I heard voices, but it ended up being a couple explorers trying to make it home before the sun goes down. Who knows, maybe we'll find like a ritual site. I doubt it'll be in the tunnel right now, but maybe in the side rooms. Stairs, man, I was just, I turned my light and camera off for a minute to try to conserve some juice. Try to. There is stairs. It goes that way. I mean, it's very tight though. Like we'd have to almost crawl. No. No, there's still some way cool stuff to explore before we got to get down into stuff like that. Because that looks like, you know, that's more of like a drainage ditch in a way, I think. We'd be on our hands and knees. We still got all night to go.
cool though. It do have a little set of stairs, so I guess if you had to go down to unclog it, maybe. Or I just seen something over there. Like a lot of times when this lights in your eyes, it can mess with you too. Anyway, we just sat down, take a little water break. <coughs> Got a little, like a little side thing to sit on here. We had a first hike to get to here, like took us a while. And then it feels like we've been walking this tunnel forever. So we needed a drink, a little break, a little water break. Let's stay hydrated. Water is my, small. 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 Water's my drink of choice. That or coffee. That's pretty much what I drink all day long. Water and coffee. There it is. Did you? What was it? You were talking. I don't know. It wasn't you, though. You heard something besides me? Mm hmm We kind of like just heard something like we're running towards us. That'd be crazy. We figured it out. You figured it out? What? What was it? I don't have to go through all five nodes to turn it off. Oh, you're talking about your flashlight. I thought you meant you figured out the sound. Okay. One more drink and we'll get back on the. Uh, Search for the end of this tunnel. Turtle. Your name? They knew you were coming, man. They knew it. What if your last name was there, too? <laughs> what? 117 times 15 to the end. 117 times. Oh, psh, what, like in my head? You don't want to do that? What is this up here? It must have been like big light bulbs or something. <laughs> What's that number here? <laughs> you wanna write that number down? <laughs> hey, Brandon be looking for a wife, guys. Anybody looking to Mar marry a stud like this, reach out in the comments. <laughs> what is that thing? Catbird? Catbird. Kitty, or. Er. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, remember? So I've seen some shorts here lately. What's the what? So with all the peckers drawn? Yeah. I know. I wonder that every time. I mean, I don't understand, I don't understand that the obsession with drawing peckers. I've never been a pecker drawer. I don't understand. I mean, not if you not if you see a hundred of them. A hundred peckers isn't funny. <laughs> I'd rather not see him. <laughs> Check that out. What's that? Oh, dang. Come on. I thought you had something good for me there. I, I didn't agree. I don't want to show them that. Twelve hours later. Oh, wow, that's a detail. What? Man. That dude, right there is when to go. See if Wendigo's road anywhere. I bet you see that antler looking skull? That's that's sort of like what the Wendigo's supposed to look like. <laughs> like uh he's been depicted with like antlers and sort of a goat's head. Definitely yeah, pretty much just a big ugly looking demon. Peace, love. There's a number. You want that number? Uh, 
Have you ever called one of those numbers? <laughs> Good time number? What's that say? Cute traps down here. Cute traps down there? And did you just say, I need to go down there? It says cave, too. Hey, uh, Paul Hogan was here. I mean, that is cool, but we're going to be here all night, man. That's, we're going to be like on our hands and knees in that Paul thing. Hogan must have been here. Was he? Oh. I think so. Oh. Oh, yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. I think he was. I mean, why wouldn't Hulk Hogan want to stop by the abandoned turnpike? Walk through and spray paint his name on there. Bet you, we look hard enough, bet you the rock's here somewhere too. Oh, Biden was. Yep. Biden was back there, I seen his name signed. Hey, huh? Hey, What'd you find? Drugs, you just found drugs. Oh my goodness. Brandon just found drugs in the tunnel. Look at that. He just found that. Just sitting here. And it's all red, like somebody, maybe that's why they didn't want to touch it. Oh, they had their, they had their weed sitting there. And then somebody screwed the spray paint up. And it, it, and it got their thing wet. Look, so it spray painted their thing and they're like, man, I ain't sticking that back in my pocket. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I bet you that's what happened. They were spray painting, smoking. The can broke all over the thing. Yeah, that's pretty funny. That's a good eye. Wow, drugs. Okay, found drugs so far. That's why I always say you never know what you're going to find. In fact, hey, you guys keep your eyes open too because if it's haunted, you guys might see something that we miss. So keep your eyes open, keep your ears open. And you guys, you guys know the drill. You guys have helped me out a lot. In the camping videos, all oh, one dude, so he's like a Bigfoot expert. Well, sort of. Sounds like it. Like he's had a lot of experience. He's seen, get this man, look. He commented, he's seen two faces. Two Bigfoot faces. And he put the time stamp. It's in the comment section. I'm, I can't remember exactly which of the three videos. But he commented like, at this time, look over here. Zoom in and look here. And at this time, zoom in and look here. And he's like, there's two Bigfoot faces. He's like, you got to get an eye for him and really look. So he seen too. I looked, I couldn't. I commented back that I didn't have the eye for it. I couldn't see him. But so he was like zooming in. He was checking the area out. And he found two Bigfoot. And he said they were just sitting there looking at me. That's crazy, ain't it? Yeah, I never told you that part, did I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, old dude. One of the fam. So if you're watching this video now, thanks, man. That was cool. And I also love when you guys share your stories. So since this ain't, this ain't really a Bigfoot video, but maybe paranormal. So if any of you guys have any like crazy paranormal stories, haunting stories, leave them in the comments. I love to hear them. Some of you guys got some pretty wild stories. Great, great stories. What else you just find? Big bag of Coke. Cartels using this tunnel now. Um, look, another starts all the way back here. And it's just a row of poo. A family of Bigfoots come running through here one night, pooing up a storm. They ate some bad berries. They stole the wrong picnic basket. Hey, boo boo. That's 
that's what I'm saying, man. There's more of that poo. It's crazy. It, it's big poo. It's like a lot of poo. There was more of that big Bigfoot poo back then. Family of Bigfoots just pooing up a storm in here. I can hear noise coming from that side now. We might be real close because we're not going to see any light at the end of the tunnel anymore. I'm guaranteed it's pitch black out now. It's getting chillier. I just got chillier. Out of me, man. I didn't even know where that noise was coming from. What is that? I don't know. It's coming from up there, though. For a minute, I didn't. I couldn't tell if it was like at my feet. I didn't know what was happening. As soon as I shine my light up there, though. That's crazy. I don't know what that was. That was creepy sounding, man. Shine the light up there and something just started like hissing. There's a big star. Something was hissing at us. Eat your fruit and veggies, children. Charlotte. Yeah, we're towards the... Uh, we made it. Man, that was a long freaking walk. We, we should time the walk back just to see. Oh, that is cool. What is that? Is it like a, is it supposed to be like a monster chewing up a city or a building? And then what's this guy doing down here? That's sort of what that looks like, don't it? Like something. Yeah, because you got your town right there. Somebody's got a sword coming out. Um, what is all this? That's like an engine, maybe? Oh, no, that's very cool, though. And then you got the airplane coming in, shooting that thing. Awesome. I hear a bunch of water out here, huh? Is that what it sounds like? I wonder, do they got another room like they do on the other side here? They do. Wait a minute. What's that shining up there? Is that eyes? What's all the noise? So this is the other side. We made it. Man, it is freaking creepy out here. So it looks like this is where the whole poop cat saga started. Man, so this whole wall fall in here. I wonder if this is the... I'm pretty sure it's the other side where the boys went in at, CJ and uh, Sonny. Yeah, no, it wasn't this side. But you can... Is that a bird? That's a bird. I thought it was a bat at first. That's... He's flying awfully late at night. Where'd you go, birdie? Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this side in here. Wow, is that just a bunch of coal? 
sort of just looks like charcoal almost. Well, is that the only way up now? And then you must have to... Yeah. Hello? We'll check the other side first. See if it's safer, maybe. Or if we can't, then we will. We'll come back down and uh, go up that way. We made it. We're still alive. Yeah, so yeah, I, was, I think I was getting ready. I think I was getting ready to tell you this earlier, but and then uh, we got on to something else. But so I've been seeing these short videos that. Oh yeah, you found the drugs. I think when I was about to tell you this last time. So I've been seeing these <laughs> short videos, and they're like uh, people that live in the Appalachian Mountains. And it'll go something like, I live in the Appalachians. At nighttime, we know to get in the house. We was taught to get in the house. And you draw the blinds so nothing can see in. And Grandma always taught us, you never whistle outside at night because you don't know what you're going to call. So, and I've seen like quite a few videos. Like, so whistling must invoke something. Because, you know, the... Uh, Appalachian Mountains are haunted. There's like all kinds of weird stuff that happens in the Appalachian Mountains. So maybe, maybe whistling invokes something. You want to try? No. regret doing that. Did you hear something? See the how many bats is that? Is that like that's more than one bat, isn't it? That might be two bats. Three bats. Yeah, it might be three bats. I heard that. Did you hear that? Barking spider? My shoe's driving me nuts. Hold on. Can you hold this for a minute? <coughs> that was a wire. It was straight up the sole of my shoe. That went right into my shoe. Can you see it? Yeah. Wow. Great. I'm glad I stopped to get that out before it like went up into my foot. I thought it was just a little stone stuck in my tread. Mac Miller. Hear that? Ooh, I just got the chills. I just remembered another story. Uh, and I'm wondering if it's this place, but there might be a story of, oh yeah, so, yep, it is this place. Okay, in one of the videos, it was some woman's video, I can't remember her name, but um, she explored this place in the daytime and went over some of the haunted history. And she's the one that talked about the Wendigo. And then she talked about this tunnel being haunted by a little girl. Of course a little girl. There's always a little girl haunting places. I think demons come as little girls because they're not this threatening. But anyway, so... And she was saying that if you stand outside the portal at night and you throw a rock in, that the rock will get thrown back to you sometimes. So we'll have to try that later.
sort of sounds, I thought I heard like some talking in the water, you know? Okay, part two, I'll have my big light also. Because uh, I thought we was going to have way more time to explore this place in the daylight, but we got here later than I thought. Like, this thing is smack dab in the middle of the mountains. Like, there's nothing but woods and mountains all around us. That's a little more better. That last flashlight was darn near all the way dead. I couldn't even see nothing with it anymore. All right, I'm not Ooh. mistaken. I think we can get up into there even. Like, we can walk. What's that? I think we can walk on top of this thing. So Brandon just said it's 9.30 now. Which means we've been walking this tunnel for 45 minutes. Is that the end? Mm -hmm. So we did sit down for a moment. My camera keeps cutting out, so I don't know if what I just told you guys a minute ago, if you even heard it, because my camera cut out again. That's like four times. So anyway, yeah, we timed it 45 minutes to walk this tunnel pretty much. That's crazy. That is a long tunnel. Is that my flannel? I think that's my flannel. Yay, nobody took it. What's it look like in there? There's a way to get up there. To get up. There's a way to get up? Brandon just went back in that room and said we can get up there that way, but it's real sketchy. It looks like a place like a skinwalker or something would be living, like back in there, man, don't it? Or a rake or something like that. Because that's a mountain. That's, that's the side of the mountain. How cool is that? Look how dangerous this is walking around here, too. You step off in the wrong spot. No bueno. Hope. Yes, through Jesus. So we're going to try to go upstairs? Um, I don't know. Man, by having our piece of metal go up in my shoe. It's pretty cool. What is this thing? I wonder. What would that have been? So this is all like the behind the scenes of what goes on at tunnels, guys. So now usually you just drive through them. But now you get to see what's going on inside of them. So yeah, let's take a look in here. See what we got to deal with. Oh my goodness. Where's the one ladder that CJ and them had? Looks like it's all the way on the other side. What happened to that ladder? Remember, the, okay, on the video. Or you know what? Maybe that was just the other side they went up the whole time. Maybe they never even went up this side. Or no, yeah, it was, because they went in, they came in through that window. Oh, be real careful, man. All right, yeah, don't try it yet. Don't try it. We're, we're going to do a part two where, uh, yeah, because we gotta we gotta go back and we gotta get all our batteries charged up. Alright fam, so like I said, man, it got dark so much quicker than I expected. We did uh we, we filmed another location earlier. Awesome, awesome location. We're gonna go back and actually stay the night there another time in uh haunted. I actually got sick in one of the houses. Anyway, that's a whole different video. But in that, I thought we was gonna have plenty of time to make it out here too, because we, we did a lot of driving today too. PA, we're in a whole different state. So, so this is what I am gonna do. I'm gonna end this video now, but we're gonna do a part two. So this will be part one. Part two, we're gonna to try to get all the way up in those upper levels. 
and uh, show you what it looks like up there. Looks cool. Do me a favor, smash that like button. Let YouTube know I'm doing a decent job. And until next time, peace. Love you guys.